Hi everyone another video by MTech Pro, next generation flagships from Samsung may come with slimmer camera sensors, or ones with higher, 24 megapixel resolution, and may be both. Samsung issued a press release to announce two new puppies in its ISO cell portfolio. The dual pixel ISO cell Fast 2 L9 comes with the typical 12 megapixel resolution that you see in flagships like the S8 or Note 8 but with smaller, 1.28 mm instead of 1.4 mm pixel size. This might mean camera area is flush with the rear surface of the phone, or more space for another module in a dual camera configuration like on the Note 8. What's intriguing about this new 12 megapixel unit is that it will use Samsung's dual pixel tech not only for ultra-fast focusing, like what high-end galaxies are using it for now but also for achieving depth of field effects with just one sensor, like what Google did with the Pixel 2 in its portrait mode. The other new sensor is the 24 megapixel ISOCELL Slim 2X7 Beast, and that would be a record resolution for Samsung when it makes it in a phone. The Slim 2X7 is apparently the first sensor in the industry to have a pixel size below 1.0 mm. Before you scoff at the new 0.9 UM size that on theory would mean less light being captured by each individual pixel, Samsung was quick to clarify that it has enhanced their isolation, so there is less noise and color crosstalk compared to previous sensors with smaller pixels. This would allow for the 24 megapixel Slim Jim to be fitted in the thinnest of Samsung smartphones, or combined with the new 12 megapixel one in a dual camera set that may take less space than the kit in the Note 8. Since the Galaxy S9 is heavily rumored to sport a dual camera, one or both of these new ISOCELL sensors might make it in Samsung's next flagship phone. And a new report basically confirms that the entire first production run of the new chipset Snapdragon 845 will be sold to Samsung for its S9 phones. The S9 and S9 Plus with the Snapdragon 845 inside are destined for the US market, unsurprisingly. Other smartphone makers will get access to the 845 at a later point compared to Samsung, which will thus once again have a time to market advantage over its competitors from this point of view. Basically the same thing that's described here has happened this year with the S8 Duo and the Snapdragon 835. Samsung buying up all available units of that chip forced LG to use the older Snapdragon 821 in its G6, while other companies simply postponed their flagship launches by a few months in order to ensure a decent supply of 835 seconds. The same source also claims that the S9 Duo will be launching a month earlier than usual, which means we can expect them to be in stores in mid-March. If this is true, then an announcement at MWC in late February seems likely. Thank you for watching don't forget like and subscribe, share if you liked.